Heat Signature is an excellent roguelike stealth em up that's not quite like anything else on the market. But while that makes for an original and refreshing experience, it also makes it a bit hard to wrap your head around. So, here's 5 tips for getting started with Heat Signature. The game has a comprehensive tutorial that covers all the major mechanics and systems, so I won't waste time recapping them. But there comes a time when you are asked to select a character, and I do have advice for you here. Scan through the available characters and pick one with a rechargeable gadget. This will be an orange colored item with rechargeable in the name. These are items that will replenish their number of uses when you return to a friendly base, so the more uses, the better. This will be helpful starting out because it gives you a chance to learn the game with at least one stable option that is available on every mission. Plus, if you're just starting out, easy and medium missions aren't likely to give up rare loot like this, so take it while you've got the chance. A fundamental element of the game that's not exactly spelled out for you is pilots. Each ship you board has a pilot sitting in the middle of a room somewhere. They can't move or look around, but it's almost always worth taking them out. Without a pilot, a ship can't return to an enemy base. This means that you can't be captured, so all countdowns will end, whether from mission time limits or being spotted by an enemy. The rest of my advice is less about how to play Heat Signature and more about how to think Heat Signature. And the first step in thinking Heat Signature is exploring every possibility. Here's an example from an ordinary mission gone wrong. I pull up alongside the spaceship and just happen to be on the wrong side of it. My pod doesn't take much damage, but getting shot has eaten up a lot of my time limit. I board with only 18 seconds until the ship reaches an enemy base. Like I mentioned previously, my immediate goal should be to incapacitate the pilot. The problem is that with the gear I have, I'm unlikely to be able to sneak there in time, especially against enemies with heat detectors. At this point, I should just turn around and abandon the mission. But there's another possibility I can explore. I knock out the enemies closest to me, hoping that they drop some useful loot. Thankfully, they do. I have even less time on the timer now, but this long-range visitor just made my mission possible. This is a teleporter with a time limit. After one second, you're forced to teleport back to where you started. But one second is enough to knock the pilot out of his chair, disabling the time limit completely. But what if there really is no way out? Just remember your mission, and take what you can get. As long as you're not captured, your character's story goes on. You can continue liberating the galaxy even if you fail a mission or get thrown out of a ship. So, if you feel things heading south, grab whatever constellation prize you can get your hands on. In this example, I've gotten myself in over my head. When accepting this mission, I didn't notice that some of the enemies have armor. With no armor-piercing weapons available, I decide to instead shield up and make a dash for my objective. I make it in, I don't make it out, but when I'm dumped from the ship, I at least have the objective. Not the most graceful exit, but I'll still get the rewards for a completed mission. I've talked about making the most of your situation, but the next step up is making your own situations. This is, of course, a skill that comes with experience, but it's never too soon to start thinking ahead. Heat Signature is a game of interlocking systems, designed so that one small mistake quickly becomes many big problems. Your goal is always to use every tool you have to avoid those mistakes in the first place. In this example, I want to clear out the enemies in the next room over. The catch is that I've gotten here by using a visitor, like I did earlier. By using another item called a slipstream, I've slowed down time, but I still need to do this fast. I can get into the room by using a swapper, a teleporter that switches your position with an enemy's. But if I do that, I'll have to fight that enemy again when my visitor teleports me back. One of the enemies in this group has a green circle around them. This indicates that they will teleport towards you when startled. Usually that's dangerous, but I can turn it to my advantage. By swapping with the teleporting enemy, I can trick him into following me back into the room. Then I can clear out the room all at once before being returned by the visitor. The whole situation is contained simply by treating an opponent's ability as a tool I can make use of. That's my approach to Heat Signature. I hope these tips help you to better understand what the game wants from you as a player. Once you're on your feet, Heat Signature is an exciting experience that rewards both planning and action. Have fun saving the galaxy!